Welcome back everybody, Benny Obscene here. Today I'm building something and I feel great. What I'm working on today is a mobile workbench slash motorcycle stand slash do it all slash get the junk pile out of the corner workbench thing. Anyway. Basically what I'm going after here is a, a two tier basic table structure build with wheels on the bottom and a motorcycle chalk on the top and D-rings on the side to anchor things down. It'll make more sense as it starts to come together. But as you can see, what I've done already is I've built out a real simple frame. All of this is just leftover materials that I had laying around the house, either from the shed out in the back or just various things that we've done here. Uh, so just two by four frame, real simple. Try and uh, the lesson that I learned was just try and keep everything as, as neat and tidy as possible. I'm working with an uneven floor here in the garage, which, which really makes things a little bit more complicated. Uh, and I don't have a good table saw or anything like that. So just um, the advice that I would give is try and spend a little bit extra time on the cuts and just do your best to make sure um, that things are even and level and square because that just makes things so much easier afterwards. So I've actually made two of these and what I'm gonna do is kind of make a little ice cream sandwich and that'll form the structure of what we're building here. The next step now that I've got my two frames built out is to measure and cut the legs. And since I'm really just kind of guessing on the measurements with this, I think I want the top level to be about 30 inches tall. I think that'll give me enough room underneath while making it the right height if there's a motorcycle on top to make it just easy to do tuning and whatever it is that we're working on for the motorcycle. So the wheels that I'm using are seven inches tall and then the decking on here that's about a half inch so that makes uh, two of them half half that's a total of eight. Uh, 30 minus 8 is 22, so I need to chop these down to 22 inches long. Right on, so I've got all the legs cut for the front. I only had two of these, so I've got these cut here for the middle, separate two by fours, and for the other side, uh, two two by fours nailed together to equal roughly the same thing. Now, what I'm gonna try and do is, even though this isn't quite level, I've got it somewhat close, try and get these positioned here and screwed in, um, hopefully without being too crooked. Again, this is really just playing it by ear and working with what I've got, but basically gonna do something like that. What I'm using for the fasteners are just three inch deck screws. They've got a nice Torx head, which I like to use, it just doesn't strip out as much. I have one of these post level things. Oh. And stick it on here. I don't know if it's going to do much difference again. I think the whole thing's pretty much crooked. So we'll just try and get in here as best as possible. So I think what I'm gonna try here is, as I've put this first one in, I think I'm gonna put the, uh, or I'm just gonna put like one screw into each leg, get it somewhat secure, and then place the other level on top here and just trying to even things out that way. 
rather than getting into a situation where if I put all these in and something's off, uh, what I don't want to happen is for that top level to not fit. All right, so that actually worked. Just a little bit of adjustment with the hammer and it fits. Uh, and now you can actually kind of see what I'm going for here with this type of structure. I'm gonna go ahead and run the rest of the screws in here and then we'll get started on the wheels. Okay, now for the wheels. I've been saving these. They came with my big obnoxious orange toolbox and obviously I didn't use them because I integrated the toolbox into the workbench but I've been hanging on to these wheels because I knew, obviously I'd never find some big gigantic ones like this again, and hopefully I would use them at some point. Today is the day. So I've got these, they're still in pretty good condition. They're nice and big, so they're gonna roll smoothly over this garage floor. And to anchor them, we're gonna be using these quarter inch lag screws. Let's get to it. All right, and we're back. I went with some bigger, lag screws as well as washers. So we should be ready to go now. Put these out of the way. All right, not too bad. It's a little bit wobbly, but I think that's just because of the way that the garage floor dips right here. And I think once it gets some weight on it, it'll be a lot more steady anyway. Uh, the only thing that's left to do is to attach some of these D-rings here. And all that'll do is just give me a place to anchor down straps. And then I eventually we'll put this motorcycle chalk on here. Obviously I don't need that just yet, so I'm gonna leave it as is, but that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and get these on. And there it is, got the workbench, Built, fits right in the corner perfectly. I've got storage for all these extra parts right now. Um, yeah, eventually we'll get this down and on top of there. But until then, at least this corner looks a whole lot better. It was easy to build, did it in a day, used all leftover supplies. When the time comes, we'll be ready to rock. Stay tuned next time. We'll go ahead and rebuild these forks. Thank you so much for watching. If you're into this, like, share, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.